Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with another 1955 Washington Senators doubleheader. Today's a doubleheader. I don't even really know who it's going to be against. I forgot. So let me go. Let's let's take a look. We look at the schedule and we see that it will be against Boston. Be playing the Red Sox today. Now, I do want to point something out to everybody. And that is, we're going to go look at the uh, league standings. And look at that. We're out of last place. And we are only two games worse now. Or no, we're two games better. We're actually two games ahead of where we were. So we were, I mean, we must have gone on some kind of crazy winning streak. Let's see what happened here. Team stats. And go to... Uh, Daily log and uh, we go to the daily log and we look, we see that we have one, two, three, four. There was one point where we won one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six games in a row and seven out of eight. And those were all. Um, quick play games so we went on some kind of crazy winning streak or at least for this team and so yeah we are we're we're playing it two games better than we were and we're out of last place we're ahead of baltimore now so that is kind of that's kind of cool i mean you know it's crazy but it's it's kind of cool so, and I'd like to take credit for that, but I really can't because um, I'm not the guy that brought them to that point. So, because um, I did a lot of quick plays. So, with that having been said, I think it's time that we get on with our game. All right, hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a stat window open. Okay, so now we will play day, and that will give us the manual games that we will play. And uh, like I said, we're going to be doing a doubleheader today. Um, human, I am going to be controlling Washington, so that's correct. And uh, it's going to be Ike Delock pitching for Boston, and we're going to have Camilo Pascal. Pitching for us. And that just again shows the day. Um, the stats for the day, what the temperature is, all that good stuff. Um, let me move myself up here. And let me move this down a little bit. And I think we're ready to go now. And uh, you can see Ike D Lock there. Uh, let's see. Let me move this down a little more. All right. Ike D Lock and pitching to Johnny Grove for us. And we are in beautiful Fenway Park. I've been to Fenway, Fenway about, about four or five times. Love it there. It's nice. I love the Boston area, even. Ernie uh, Oravets gets a single. Oravets is having a good year, too. So that brings up uh, Pete Runnels, and uh, let's see, what is he doing? Yeah, he's hitting 291 on the year. One out, man at first, and he walks. So Runnels has been one of our our stars, if we have any. And Mickey Vernon, speaking of stars for this team, Mickey Vernon, who's hitting 324 on the season. And he walks. The bases are loaded with only one out here. We are just playing on a terror. And I D Lock can't believe it. Roy Severs is up. And Severs is going to hit a fly ball, maybe that scores Oravets. We'll see. 
Uh, I'm going to I'm going to send them because this is the Washington Senators and I'm going to send the trailing runner to. And he made it. And so now Carlos Paula is up two down the run guy. And let's see if Paula can hit a double. And he can. And I didn't even I mean, I saw the double before I said double. So, uh, yeah, but he's going to knock in two more runs and Valdez is up and he's going to fly out. So we, uh, yeah, we uh, we jumped on D Lock right out of the uh, right out of the gates, and now we got Billy Goodman batting against Pascal. Now, the only bad thing about this is Pascal's having a terrible year. He's not pitching well at all. You can see the 5.42 earned run average. Um, and that brings up Johnny Pesky, who hits a single. So he is getting uh, he's getting trounced just like D-Lock did. And Zoukin is up. Norm's are broken. And uh, he's going to hit a ground ball C, which is going to move the man to second and the guy from third into home plate and get him a run. And also remember, I'm kind of, my hands are tied here. I don't have a deep or even good bullpen. So it's not like I can go to the bullpen and say, oh, yeah, you know, let me go get a relief pitcher and get that guy out of there. No. You can't do that with this team. So that moved uh, Pearsall to third, but now there's two down, <clears throat> and Stevens up, and he's going to ground out. So we got out of that inning without uh, without too much damage. And uh, Bruce Edwards, is up, and he's striking out. And that brings up Pascal, and he's going to ground out. And that brings up Bravo, and he's going to ground to the shortstop, who is Klaus. And let's see what happens. And he's out. So Sandy White's up against Pascal. And he's, he's going to a fly ball. There's one down. That brings up Billy Klaus himself. He's There's going to be a catch card there. That's Edwards. And it's an out. Edwards makes the play. All right. And then that brings up Grady Halt and Hatton. And he's going to walk. So hands aboard and D Lock is up. And D Lock is gonna hit a fly ball. And Boston comes away with nothing in the second. And we maintain a three to one lead. And that brings up the Orovitz. And he's gonna walk. Nice. Nice. Runnels again. And Runnels is going to hit a ground ball B. So now Runnels will be the man at first. Vernon's up. And he's going to hit into a double play. And the hit is what's going to happen there. So we got no runs in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. And Billy Goodman up. And Billy Goodman is going to ground out. Uh, Jimmy Pearsall's up, and he's going to strike out. So Pascal has uh, he settled down a little bit here. And Zaukin is up, and Zaukin strikes out. Severs is at the plate, and he is going to hit a single. He walked the first time, and now he's got a hit. Carlos Paul up, one for one. And he is going to hit a single, too. All right. Nice. First two guys hitting singles. I am going to hold the runners. He's a he's a runner. He's a nine. So we're not doing that. Valdivizo is, oh, my God, a single to 17, and he didn't get it. He's going to line out. There's one down. And here comes the walking man, Bruce Edwards, and he walks. 
was 0 for 1 before that. But that brings up Pascal, so that's not good. He strikes out, and there's two down. At least he then hit into a double play. And Johnny Grow is going to hit a ground ball. And we're going to leave the inning with no runs. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. Jackie Jensen is up, and he's ground out. That brings up Gene Stevens, and he is going to hit a double. Double over Oravets's head. We've seen that many times this season. Sammy White is up, and he's going to ground out to the shortstop. Battle that should hold Stevens at second, and there's two down. And Bill Klaus at the plate, and he is going to hit a fly ball. So... Pascal is controlling things here, big time. And we will go to the top of the fifth. Still holding on to the slim. You have to say, you have to realize it's still a slim 3-1 lead against the better Boston Red Sox team. And there's one down, and Ronalds is up. And that's going to be a ground ball. And so it's, after this uh, doubleheader, the next time I play the Washington Senators season, a uh, season, uh, Washington Senators season game, it's going to be the last game of the season. I'm going to skip right to the last game of the season and uh, to get this season over with because I'm trying to clear the decks so that I can do my White Sox imagined season where I will play the 162 game schedule that would have been in the imagined season for the White Sox and see if the White Sox can finish at least where they did and possibly better in the imagined season over 162 games and with them playing the NL West instead of playing the NL Central as they actually did in the 60 game real season. So to clear the decks for that and make sure that I get that in, this will be the second time, the last time I will actually play the um, Senators games. And uh, Severs is out there. P Paul is up. This will be the second to last time I actually play the Senators games. And then the next time will be the last game of the season. And then that will conclude our Washington Senators non-playoff season, which we knew it was going to be because they were a terrible, terrible team. But right now, they're two games better than they really were. And we went from three games worse than we really were to two games better in a relatively short period of time. And Edwards walks again as he does all the time. And Pascal, come on, pitcher card, yes! He does he get the pitcher card. He's going to hit a single with it. Does that score a run? No. And so Gro is up, and he's going to strike out. So we're still maintaining that slim lead, but Pascal is ditching out of his mind. And then there's going to be a double, double. Lead off double for Jimmy Pearsall, the man with the mental issues. And Norm Zuckin is up, and he is going to hit a single and maybe knock in Pearsall. No, he doesn't, so... But that's going to be a pass ball, and that's going to put Zuck in at second with no outs. So now, the, now it's getting a little dicier. And Zockin doesn't move, so Gene Stevens is up with one down. And now that was another pass ball, and that's going to be a ground ball to second. It's probably going to tie the game. No, it doesn't. Couldn't it, he couldn't call him on it, but that does tie the game, and that's a single by Sammy White. So I, uh, I'm not surprised that he's tired. Klaus is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to the second baseman Runnels, and he got him. So we are now in a tie game, and Horovitz is up at the plate, and he's out. 
was almost time for him to be replaced defensively by Umflip, but that's not going to happen now because we still need to get a run. Pete Runnels walks one on, one out, Mickey Vernon up, and he's going to fly out. And Severs is up at the plate, and he walks. So that leaves it up to Carlos Paula. Come on, Carlos Paula. No, he's going to line out. And we are going to be back into the field. And I'm going to keep the tired Pascal on the mound, at least for right now. And he'll pitch to Grady Hatton. And that's a strikeout, because we really, uh, like I said, we have the thinnest thin bullpen you'd ever want to see. Thin and bad. So we got Ike D lock up, and they will pinch for him. Plus, I did want to try to get to the next inning. That's a good point. I try to get to the next inning so that we can pinch hit for Pascal. And he will hit the ground ground ball to the shortstop. Hopefully, Valdivizo makes the play, and he does. So Goodman is up, and he's going to hit a double. Still sticking with him. Got to stick with him. It might be, you know. And, of course, Pearsall's all world, but he flies out. So we did get him through the seventh inning, and we're going to the eighth. And Valdiviso is up, and he is going to hit a single. Now, this is yes, yes, and I think now Pascal comes up, so you definitely want to pinch hit for him. Oh, no, it's Bruce Edwards. We want him to get on board with a walk or a single like he does. So we got the first two guys on, and we are definitely pinch hitting. So let's go to our bench. We have a lefty on the mound, which means we need a righty hitter. Oh, that's right. Roster's expanded. I forgot. Roster's expanded. So uh, we have a lefty pitcher. Look at all these guys that I didn't even know we had. All right. Uh, yeah, Korchek is a... Righty, who is a 5L. So, yeah. I would say he would be a good choice. And he was a great choice because he's going to double play in at least one run. And I'm, but I'm going to hold the runner. So, Grow is up. And he's going to hit a fly ball that should not get another run. Give us a two-run lead. I'm going to hold the run. I hope that's not... Oh, my God, that was a runner at third. Couldn't come home on that? All right. So, Oribet is up. Man, that's going to be another run, maybe two. Just a run. So, hey, we still got the two. We got a two-run lead, though, and Runnels is up. And Runnels is going to hit a fly ball, which is going to not score that run. So now we got two down. And Mickey Burn even up, and they don't walk him, and he hits a fly ball. Or a ground ball. Ground ball first. So, um... Yeah. There you go. All right, so where's Umflit? Because we are going to put Umflit in center field for sure. There he is. He's going to be the new center fielder. And the new pitcher is going to be uh, not Curry. Although he hasn't pitched. So let's give him a shot. I mean, you know. Yeah, that's not a good card. But let's see if he can navigate that minefield and at least get out of the eight. I mean, this is his first appearance of the year. 
And he got Zalkin, so now Jensen's up. And he's going to get Jensen. And now Gene Stevens is up, and he got out of the inning. Nice. I might even just keep this guy out there. Let's see if he can nail it down. Royce, all right, maybe not. I don't know. That's going to be a pop out with receivers, though. You got Carlos Paula, two for three on the day, and he's going to hit a fly to center, but that's Pearsall, and he's a one, so he's probably going to catch it. You would have to guess. And Belde is up, and he's going to pop out. And I'm going to keep that guy out there. I'm keeping that dude out there at least for the first batter. See how it goes batter by batter. Sammy White's up. And he's going to hit a ground ball, so that's another out. out. He hasn't even allowed a guy on with a terrible card in a 12 ERA. Klaus is up, and he hits a single. Oh, man, man. look at all those home runs. Oh, Don't you know, a lefty bat against this guy. And yet we have that. But he gets a ground ball short to B. And the pitcher is up, and he is going to hit a single, and now I'm going to go to the bullpen with a gain is having gotten a hit. We're going to take him out? Yeah, we're going to take him out. All those home runs are just begging to be hit. So let's see, who do we bring in with two down and the game on the line? Well, you got to think not Klein. Going to bring in Stewart. Oh, okay. And he strikes him out, and we win the game. Nice. That was quite a game. And we go to 50 and 81. Pascal pitching really well. And Curry, of course, pitching well with his 12 ERA. And so we are going to play the other game of that doubleheader, play day. And now we are going to have uh, the Boston Red Sox will have Suski. I, I don't know how you pronounce that. And we're going to have, of course, our main man, Stobbs. Chuck Stobbs going up. And I am going to say play ball. There's our stats for today again. There's a nice picture of Fenway. I remember I was on that street. One of those probably every one of those five times that I went to Fenway. Johnny Groh leading off against Susk, Suski, whatever his name is. Ground ball to second, that's Goodman, and he's a four. So let's see if he can bobble that. Yes, base hit. Got by him. Ernie Orvitz. You can't... <laughs> you can't stop the Washington Senators. You can't even hope to contain them. So we, uh, Runnels hits into a ground ball that's going to end the inning. And we go to the, to the bottom of the first. And there's our main man, Stobbs, with the glasses. And he allows a single to Pearsall to lead off. No surprise, Pearsall's been a thorn in our butt. And then Billy Klaus is up. And he is going to line out. That brings up Jackie Jensen, and Jackie Jensen's going to hit a ground ball. Short to That's Valdiviso. He's a two. Let's see if he can turn DP. A smooth DP? No, he can't. He can't even get the ball. And then that's going to be a single for Norm Zawkin. So this is a problem. One out, and the base is full. 
and that's a ground ball to third, and that's Seavers, who's a five. So thank you, Mr. Sunshine. So two runs to score there, and then there's a triple one to seven double by Sammy White. Going to be a double. So uh, it's a good thing I. Uh, it's a good thing we held on for that that, that lead last time because uh, and and won the game because I don't know about this one. But Billy Goodman going to hit a ground ball to second and be out. But we're down three now after winning. And uh, Mickey Vernon is going to fly out for the first out of the second inning of the Washington second. That brings up Roy Seavers. Seavers is going to get a hit. Carlos Paula. Carlos Paula is flying out. 297 and 8 homers on the year for him. And Valdezzo is up, and he is hitting 250. Coming into that at bat, so now under 250. And we go to the bottom of the second. Gene Stevens is up. Well, now I know that my bullpen isn't as thin as I thought it was because we have the expanded rosters that I forgot about. Uh, but ground ball to shortstop is going to be the second out, but that doesn't mean that, that they're good. As you saw, I brought in two, um, well, one terrible pitcher and one not very good last game. So that's a base hit for Pearsall. No, no surprise there. Uh, Billy Klaus is up, and he's going to hit a single. And Jackie Jensen is walking, so the bases are loaded with two down. And that brings up Zawkin. And Zawkin hits another, he hits a single relax and then, well, another, another run, too. And Grady Hatton's up, and yeah, the Red Sox are just uh, smoking our butts right now. Four nothing, and uh, Suski pitching well. Of course, he walks Edwards. Everybody does, and that brings up Stobbs, my main man, Stobbs, and he's striking out. Growth is up. Growth, grow or growth, growth. And that's at the plate. And he is going to ground out for the last out. We'll go to the bottom of the third, losing 4 nothing. Sam C. White, 1-1, one one, and he gets a single. Man aboard with Goodman up, and that's going to be a pass ball. Oh, no, no, it was a, maybe a hit and run. So one out right at second now, and fly ball to the right field for Paula. And that's going to look like it's going to drop. And it does. Not surprisingly, Boston scores another run in the fourth straight inning. Or third straight inning. And Pearsall is up. And Pearsall is going to hit a two-run home run. And Stobbs is really getting his butt munched on here. Yeah, look at those fireworks. And Stobbs is tired. Well, we're going to get him through the inning at least. Or maybe not. That would have been an out, but it's a base hit for Billy Klaus. Jensen's up. It's going to be a ground ball to all He's a three. Let's see if he can make a double play. And he does, so yeah, we got out of the inning, but now it's we're down to seven nothing. And that's gonna be a single for Runnels. Let's see if we can put some runs together here against Suski. Uh we have uh Vernon. Man, Vernon strikes out. 
Vernon's average has been dropping precipitously. Roy Seavers walks. So we have two on with only one out. Here in the fourth, and Carlos Paula up. And that's going to be a double play. Okay, now I am going to go get Stobbs because I know I want a deeper bullpen now. So we're going to go get um, Abernathy. Abernathy is our long reliever. And he strikes out Norm Zawkin, who was two for two before that K. Grady Hatton is going to hit a fly ball. This might be the first zero inning for the Bobos. And that brings up Sammy White. And Sammy White, it's not going to be the first zero inning because he might have homered right there. Probably did. Yeah, it looks like that thing is leaving. So, uh, yeah, I was I was hopeful for our first zero inning, but no. Boston says no. We're going to keep scoring every inning. Stevens is up, and Stevens hits a ground ball. Finally, he mercifully ends the inning. But they do score again from the fourth straight inning. And Valdivito is up, and he's going to fly out. Edwards is up. He's going to hit a ground ball to second. And at four, he might get that one by him. And he doesn't, though. And Abernathy's up. I'm letting him hit because, you know, we're not coming back in this one. And he walks on his own card. Nice. And Growth is up. And Growth is going to hit a ground ball. So, seven or eight nothing. Bottom of the fifth. Let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, we probably. No, he's out. Single one to 19, and he's out. Nice. Pearsall, three for three. And he is, of course, now four for four with single. Pearsall has been hitting everything. Billy Klaus. Billy Klaus up with one down, and Pearsall aboard at first. He strikes out. And that brings up Jackie Jensen. And Jackie Jensen is out, and that is surprisingly the first zero inning for the Bobos in this game. They maintain only the good 8 nothing lead, and we have Ernie Orovats up. And he is going to be out on a line. To Zog. Runnels is up. Runnels is going to be out on a fly ball to the center. Pierce will flag that one down. And that brings up Vernon. And Vernon walks. Something to get excited about if you're not on the losing end of an 8 nothing score. And that's a ground ball to Klaus. <coughs> Zawkin up against Abernathy. And Abernathy allowing another single. Coming in with a good 644 earned run average is Abernathy in 102 innings pitched. Hatton is up and he walks. Or he will. And Sammy White, three for three with a strikeout. So that's one down with runners at first and second and good enough. He's going to hit a ground ball second base. C. That'll move the runners to second and third. And that brings up Stevens. And Stevens is going to be out. We've actually 
done the impossible, we have held Boston to zero runs in two straight innings. Carlos Paula is up, and he's going to double. He's just going to plane every day out right double down the left field line. Valdez is up, and he's going to walk. And that should bring up Bruce Edwards, the walk man. And he walks. So the bases are loaded with no outs. And our pitcher is up. Sucre is tired, not surprisingly. And we are going to go get a pinch hitter. So let me see. Uh, the pitcher at the moment who they're probably going to take out is a righty. So let me see what my choices are here. Bakur, he hit 214. I'm not going to... Well, you know what? He's a lefty who's a 3R, so let me, uh, let me put him in. Now they'll probably pinch... No! They pitch to him, and he's going to hit a fly ball and not gonna run, at least. They kept the tired Sucre out there. I'm, su I'm surprised. Growth is up, so we got to run from around the board, and that's going to be a ground ball, third base B. That'll leave it so that runners are at the corners with two down. And Oravets up. And Oravets hitting a ground ball to the shortstop to Klaus. He's a three. Let's see if he can uh, misplay the ball. Now I get to it or something, he can't. I mean, he does play it. So, uh, yeah. We have to go get another pitcher. That's the moral of that story. Um, hmm. I am going to say Pedro Ramos. And he'll pitch to Lapicio, Lapicio, and he's going to hit a ground ball to the top to Valdiviso. Hopefully, he makes the play. Nope, he doesn't. He's safe now. The four for four Pearsall steps up, and he's going to make his first out of the day on a double play. And that brings Billy Klaus, and then he strikes out. And now they bring in Tom Hurd. Hurd. And he's going to pitch to Ross, who is going to hit a fly ball. That's the first out of the eighth for Washington. And uh, Mickey Vernon, who is going to double. Going to double over Pearsall's head. Nice. Seavers up, one for two on the day, striking out. And Paul is up. And he is out. And Jackie Jensen is up, and he's grounding out. And after the game, you want to stick around because I am going to take a look at where we are in respect to where we were. Like, we were two games ahead of our real-life pace, and I want to see if we stayed that way. If we, um, if, if in real life they split this double header, then we would stay right where we were. If in real life they had actually won both of these games, we would be a game, only a game ahead of the pace. Hit by pitch, Valdiviso. And, and our walking man is up, and he strikes out, though. And Ramos is going to be pinch hit for, obviously. Um, they have a righty who's a 3L, so kind of hard to know what to do there.
guess we'll put this guy Klein up. I mean, he hasn't played at all. I want to get people playing time. And there's a catcher card X. One away and growth is up. Growth hits a single. I'm going to hold the runners because we need runs and base runners. We don't need to stretch things. Left field, Stevens fly ball to Stevens. Let's see if he can misplay it. He can't get to it. So nice. We get another run. Runnels is up. And Runnels strikes out. That's down. And that's it. No, it's three down. So that's it. And we're out. So there's the box score. Stobbs goes an unimpressive three, giving up 11 hits, six earned runs, one walk, no strikeouts, and a home run. Abernathy goes an unimpressive three, giving up one earned run and one home run. And Ramos pitches two very good innings for us. And now let's see what the standings say for us. League stats, and we are, where are we? We are three games up on where we were. So we must have, uh, we must have in real life lost both of those games to Boston because we actually gained another game. And we are how many in front? Three in front of Baltimore. So hope you enjoyed that. The Washington Senators playing a little bit better than they had in real life in 1955. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.